MVP one month in, uh, you know, who you have at the top, and, and let's do top five for MVP. Yeah, let's do the entire list because it's so much fun. Okay. This may be boring to you who I'm picking at the top, but it's Nikola Jokic. He deserves to be number one. This is the best Jokic we've ever seen. Number two, you're not going to agree with me whatsoever, but I'm shoving him up. Yanis Tedekupo is just such a fantastic Whoa, player. Holy I, moly, I don't even have him in my top five. I'm I'm. I'm lifting him. He's one of the best players in the game. Yeah, the problem is we have a lot of really good players in the game yes, right now. Yes, we do. Okay. And he's not up there in terms of per, <laughs> if you want to go through the numbers of that, of PER. But anyways, we'll go through his numbers. Yeah. And B, this is interesting. I'm putting him at third. Won it last year. Um, he's still a fantastic player. I say it's interesting because he's missed you know a couple games because of injury. Um, and that may... Tick up. It may tick up. May, well, yeah. It may. But he's, right he's now, healthy. we're supposed to be looking at this right yeah, now. Yeah, he hasn't yeah, missed yeah. that many. Yeah. He's missed two. So what, well, yeah, he's missed two. He hasn't missed that many. Yeah. But I just wonder, at the end, after 82 games, you can't miss 15 games? Is that what it is? Yeah, right. Something is it like 60, that. So, no, it's, oh, is it 65? Yes. Yeah, oh, so you can't miss 18. Okay, yeah. he might do it. Yeah. Um, and then then we're going to the young guys that everybody loves. Shea Gildas Alexander is my fourth pick. Yep. And then Tyrese Halliburton at okay. five. Okay. So I'll take you just through quickly some of the stats. When I say this is the best Jokic we've ever seen, it's 100% true. This looks more like playoff Jokic, where mm. he's forced to shoot 20 times or shoots 20 times. Because in the regular season, he chills a little bit, lets his other guys do it, and maybe it's because Jamal Murray has been out for a little bit, but he's shooting and boarding and assisting. He's averaging 29, 13.2 rebounds, which would be a career high for him, and nine assists. You know, he has these 30, 10 rebound, 15 assist nights. He does lead the league in PER. Like, he has the last three seasons, but it's even better, 34.5 this year, which would be a ridiculous <laughs> That's like number. That's a dumbass number. Yeah. 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 When uh, you yeah. Start, start to get those numbers, he's the best. I have Jokic at number one right now. You know, not only does he lead PER, it's like wind shares and your VORPs and your box plus minuses, like all your advanced uh, statistics if you get into that. And they're just <laughs> – Denver is dominant when he plays. I think they're like a plus 11.3 net rating according to NBA advanced stats and they're they're rough when he's off the floor um you know it's a different team because everything goes through him so I have Jokic right now at the top of the the leaderboard for MVP yeah he's a special guy he's looking like the guy who won the championship and maybe he maybe this is a big maybe maybe he wins another championship if Murray is healthy the day the year before or think things are a little different hmm. surrounding him that will all be determined in 2024. 2025 or 2026, yeah. but he looks the best. Okay. All right, now I will talk very briefly about Yanis Antetokounmpo. Then you can tell me why he's not the second best player in the association. Because yeah. his record is still good as far as the Bucks. They're still up there in the Eastern Conference. He's scoring 29.8 points per game on 60% from the field, which would be a career high for him. Mainly, I think, because the Lillard factor helps out on that end. Anyways, 10.8 boards and 4.7 assists. He's still Giannis. Um, you know, other guys are doing great things. We'll get to Embiid and all that. But uh, that, that's, Giannis is That's the there. issue here because, like, you just said all the stats, and obviously they are still a good team, even if they've fallen off defensively, which is weird. But, like, you know, SGA is averaging 31, 6, and 6. Tatum's averaging 28, 9, and 4 on the best team in the East. Halliburton's averaging 27, 12. They don't mm -hmm. have the record of some of these other teams, no. but you see his importance. He's got like 50, 40, 90 shooting splits. Luke is averaging 31, 8, and 8. Curry's averaging 35 and 4 with his dumb shooting splits. Durant could be in this conversation. Yeah. I mean, it's nuts that, like, it's not, it's, I, I get having Giannis number two, but you could easily have him number eight. Yeah, with, right? with some of those guys, for sure. Some of those guys uh, don't play the defense that Giannis or yes. Shea Gilgis-Alexander yeah, plays yeah. or Joel Embiid plays. And that, and that's why I have those guys up there. But you can you can okay. shove an, a Shea a little bit higher. But anyways, I got an Embiid third. He won last year. Uh, he's playing so well defensively, and that's kind of why I, I bumped him over a couple guys. But his number is 32 points, 11.3 rebounds, 6.6 .6 assists. As teams double him more, that would be a career high for yeah. him. Teams are really trying to get the ball out of his hands, and Tyrese Maxey is making teams pay. He's he and the Sixers are still good, uh, so there he goes. There he goes to three, and I and Shea goes to four. Thirty point six points, fifty four point one percent from the floor. That that is incredible. Yeah. 
Yeah, that is incredible a for a guard <laughs> that, and, that operates in the mid range and yeah yeah and that would be his career high he's learning and he leads the nba in steals and he can block the snot out of you if, if you're around but 2.3 steals per game kind of shows how good he is on the defensive end too i went Jokic one Embiid two sga three i put tatum four mm. uh and i put halliburton five just for shits and giggles because, you know, really, Luca is a monster. Curry's still a monster. Giannis, Durant. But, like, this will be, I believe, unfortunately, like, if we do this in another month, I think because of the Pacers, where they'll be in comparison to a lot of these other teams, they won't quite have the record. So yes. right now, still being around 500, and he's just been so impressive. You know, everybody's comparing him to Nash and these type of numbers that I just wanted him in there. But, I yeah, get it. That's where, that's where I went. But that's nuts that I'm leaving off Luca, Curry, Giannis, Durant, I mean, you can start even getting so, into like Anthony Edwards. Like, you know, yes. it's it's pretty incredible the talent we have right now. Yeah, to leave Tatum off this list, which I did, which yeah. I was definitely thinking about, just put them on there. They're the currently the best team in the association. The, the defense isn't there compared to some other guys. The efficiency isn't there to come just compared to some other guys, and that's why I put Halliburton at five. Although their team is. Very close to 500, yeah, and so that's why he's dropping. But 27 points, leading the league in assists at 11.8, and a career high from the floor, 51.9, also 44.7 from three, also a career high, 50, 40, 90 club uh, that he should yeah, be in. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, so he, he he's up there. And Booker's only played 10 games. Otherwise, he's in the conversation yeah, here too. But you gotta you gotta keep him off after one month in. Okay, well that's I mean look that's incredible where we're at here. Uh, again, four or five weeks in. Let's hear your uh, MVP frontrunner and you know who you have one through five. 